<laughs> yeah. It's got to be a humorous, light-hearted comedy. Um, because when I go to see a film, I want something that's going to make me laugh and make me happy and not make me more miserable than I already am. <laughs> I like rom-coms. I like kind of um, sort of adventure, kind of um, that kind of thing. I just I enjoy it. I like it like quite light. I don't like heavy stuff. <laughs> Um, rom-coms because they're like really interesting like the plot line which you really hooked on uh, horror because it scares me and um, I don't fall asleep because it's so scary I'm gonna say action because I don't know I just love Transformers I guess and Spider-Man um, action films it gets the adrenaline going uh, keeps you on the edge of your seat um, I like the idea of suspense um, and yeah, it's just an exciting experience. Horror, um, because it's scary. Um, either like adventure or even like rom-coms, but only the good rom-coms. It's just an interesting watch. Comedy. Comedy, because I do love to laugh. Romantic comedy. I just like it because it's cute. Um, thrilling, because it's interesting and it keeps you on your toes. Comedy. Because it's uh, funny and it makes me laugh. I like kids' movies, comedies, and funny films. Um, because they make me laugh and I uh, like watching my friends. Rom com. Because they have a tendency to be really cheesy and American. Horror. Because I can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> Scary things. Anything that frightens me or upsets me. I just don't want to be upset. <laughs> I want to be laughing and happy. Um, probably romance. Because it's all soppy and yeah. <laughs> cheesy rom-coms. Because they're so predictable. Well, I used to love horror films, but for some reason now I've got older, I'm a bit of a wimp, oh. and I'm scared of uh, having the light off. Horror. Absolutely awful. Why not? Because you want to be scared out of your wits. And then go to bed and have nightmares. Who, who wants that? No, not at all. Um, horror films? Because they give me nightmares. Uh, I ha it has to be like. You know, I said like rom coms are my favourite. They're also yeah. my least favourite as well because you can get really good ones like Notting Hill and then get really bad ones. Probably horror. Um, because sometimes I don't find it's believable enough. not interesting it doesn't make you want to watch on um i guess like the filming is like the most important thing because if it's like really bad filming like in paranormal activity where it's like the guy the guy's point of view and it's like in his camera i hate that um but when it's like you know it's a really bad quality film i don't want to watch it obviously um to me in the first two minutes of the film i really want them to grab my attention um kind of like set the scene and um, give me a flavor of what might be to come and meet the main characters. Like I said, I think it would be something that's going to be keeping me gripped and entertained. So something that's quite high, high uh, adrenaline doesn't build it up slowly. But if they're really boring and the film's quite boring, then I won't watch it. But then if they're quite, if it's really good, it'll make me want to watch it more. I've got to be instantly engaged, I suppose. I've got to be grabbed by the opening sequence um, It's got to grab your attention, hasn't it? It's got to give you an idea of what, it's, what the film's going to be like and you can decide whether you want to stick with it. Um, and it's got to... Um, it's got to start the story in a understandable way. You, you, you need to know what it's going to be about. It's got to be exciting. It's got to be sort of weird. So it interests me so I can keep watching it. If it's just loads of people just, you know, saying very boring stuff to each other, it's like, okay, why am I watching you? Why well, what a question? I can't answer that. Oh, uh, what film do I like? What's the next one? Do you know what film I really like? I like Crash. Um, oh, I like An Imitation of Life. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I like, um, I know you said one, um, but there's many. Um, I like Set It Off. And, um, oh, Elf. Your film. Um, 
sure the dead. Um, drive. Just a Transformers and in time. I'm going to say my big fat Greek wedding because I'm Greek and because I laughed and laughed and laughed when I saw that film. Name is. My favourite film of the 80s was a film called um, Local Hero. The Princess Diary. The Proposal. I think my favourite series of films was probably the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, set. Uh, Happy Gilmore. Well, like the worst film I've ever seen. Yeah. Marley and Me. It was so sad. Uh, Phantom of the Opera. One day. Jeepers Creepers because it's really, really bad. Uh, Woman in Black. I wasn't a fan of the Notebook. I that didn't get why every single girl that I ever ever heard say mention it ended up crying through it. Titanic. Probably the whole because it just wasn't believable at all. High School Musical. <laughs> oh, Serious Man is the only film I've fallen asleep in. It's my least favourite, not because it wasn't a good film, because at the time it was a good film, and it's Jaws, but that's because I've never felt the same about going in the sea since I saw that film, and I used to love the sea, and now it's just ruined, and it was years ago, and I still don't like going in the sea anymore. A bit of comedy, best. Okay. Or a bit of, like, just interestingness. Good actors and humour. It's got to be fun, hot guys, hot topless guys, <laughs> if they have six packs. Um, it's got to be funny, it's got to be interesting. I want it to be high budget. Actors and actresses I know. Really good actors, scenery, um, and a really interesting storyline. Humour, mostly. If it's scary enough. Kind of easy watching, you know, like entertainment actually. Good looking actors. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs>